hey y'all welcome back to another video if you are new here to my channel hello and welcome my name is shalia aka she she rose and if you are a returning loyal subscriber then welcome back so today i'm bringing you guys a special edition fourth of july cook and clean with me you guys i was so excited to do this video for you guys i know a lot of you love to see me cook so i figure why not bring you guys along and just show you what i will be making for our 4th of July indoor picnic. So I went through it all to get this video up for you guys today. So I truly do hope that you enjoy it. And we are just going to get right into all of this cooking and cleaning motivation. So I just had to point out this Steakhouse Elite ground beef. You guys, I am a ground turkey girl through and through. I love ground turkey, but when it comes to certain things, I feel like beef is better. So I love this particular brand, especially when I'm making my burgers, you guys. It is a really good quality of ground beef. So I'm just getting started by making my everything but the kitchen sink burger sliders. And you guys can probably see why I call it that because literally everything goes into this mix except the kitchen sink. But that's why it is so delicious and so juicy. now we are just going to get started on the cake you guys i love making my cakes from scratch but if i can just be totally honest with you your girl was tired i had to get all of this cooking and baking done today and also get this video up for you guys today so i was just not in the mood for no from scratch cake so we went with the fun fetty box cake and I just wanted to share with you guys some of my tips and tricks that I like to use to get my box cakes super moist. And I'm just using some melted butter. As you guys can see, yes, I use mayonnaise. And for some people, they may think that is totally disgusting. I used to as well. But you guys, it really does help and it makes your cake super moist as well as some carnation milk. So you guys, you cannot go wrong with those three ingredients. Melted butter, mayonnaise, and carnation milk will get your box cakes all the way together every single time.
so now i'm just getting started on the baked beans you guys and i'm just going to be mixing that up on top of the stove first before popping that into the oven but while i have you guys i wanted to go ahead and give you guys today's fun fact about me so today's fun fact is you guys i am a straight perfectionist everything has to be perfect at all times which is crazy because i already know nothing and nobody is perfect but i just love to see things in order it has to be perfect using today as an example it drove me crazy and i had so much anxiety having to do all of this in one day and not being fully prepared normally my videos are edited i have done my voiceover days in advance so to have to do all of this in one day and get it up in one day you guys it drove me absolutely crazy but that's the perfectionist in me so yeah you guys that's the fun fact for today your girl is a perfectionist So now I'm just about to get some dishes washed because one thing about me, you guys, I like to clean as I go. I don't like to have a whole bunch of dishes and stuff to clean up once I'm done with my cooking. So I like to go ahead and just tackle that and get that done while my food is cooking. This way I can just sit down and enjoy my food and not have to worry about coming back later. I also wanted to apologize if you guys hear a whole bunch of music in the background it is the 4th of July, you guys, and I mentioned that I actually filmed all of this today. So I'm doing my editing and my voiceovers and my neighbors are just having a good time and they are partying it up. So if you hear any music in the background, that is my neighbors just having a good time.
as you guys can see, the burgers was so juicy that it was falling apart. But that is okay. It still came out super good and it was delicious. And I also thought I was filming this part, you guys, but I did not. After I did the sliders, I did make my version of the Starbucks black tea lemonade. So I'm just going to go ahead really quickly and just tell you guys how I did it and what you would need. Y'all, it is super simple. As you guys know, during the pandemic, I have been doing a whole lot of cooking. I have not been eating out. And I honestly don't plan on eating out anytime soon. So I love Starbucks black tea lemonade. So I just thought, why not go ahead and make it myself? So all you need is some Earl Grey tea bags. Of course, some hot water so you can boil that and let it steep. And then you just need a can of lemonade concentrate. And you guys, that's it. Honestly, you mix that together. You can put some sugar if you choose to. If you're not really a sugar person, then you could just leave it as is. But you guys, that was it. It was really, really simple to make. But you guys can also Google it if you want to try it. And it tastes really, really good. So now I'm just going to go ahead and get this macaroni salad knocked out so we can keep on moving. So y'all, I wanted to share a quick little trick with you guys if you have never tried this before. If you don't feel like going through that whole process of icing in your cake, you guys, all you have to do is just pop the frosting in the microwave for a couple of seconds and just let it melt down a little bit and just pour it right over your cake and bam, that is it you guys, super simple. You don't have to worry about standing there frosting your cake for five minutes. You can just literally pour it right over and it's so simple and easy to do.
So now I'm just gonna go ahead and get these Parmesan garlic wings into a bowl and then head into the living room and set up for our indoor picnic. Honestly, you guys, we tend to do this every single year. We never really go anywhere. And especially this year with the pandemic and the numbers and the cases rising again, we just decided to be safe and keep it simple and just do something really small at home. So I hope that you guys did enjoy this special edition 4th of July cooking clean with me plus our indoor picnic idea. If you did enjoy this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Drop some comments down below, especially if you are new. I love to connect with each and every one of you. And also leave me some comments and let me know what you guys did today. What was your plan? Did you go out with friends and family or did you just decide to do what we did and just keep it really simple and just do something at home? So don't forget to smash that red subscribe button and make sure that your post notification is on so that you do not miss any of my future uploads. And I will see you all in next Wednesday's video. Bye guys.